Hello. Today I will be discussing about the slope of IS curve and the slope of the LM curve. Okay. And you can find the related videos in the description box. Now, the condition that made for each point on the ice curve is, look at the equation. Here, the condition that made for each point on the ice curve is this. What is the condition? Condition is that investment is equal to saving. Investment plus government expenditure, saving plus tax. That is the investment equal to saving equation. This is the goods market equilibrium. It represents the goods market equilibrium. Okay. So from the definition of the national income, from the definition of the national income, we have Y equal to C plus S plus T. What is C? C is the consumption. S is the saving and t is the tax and y is the income so now y minus t is equal to c plus s okay and y minus t is nothing but disposable income it is replaced by yd y minus t is replaced by yd so yd equal to c plus s now, S, after rearranging, we get S equal to YD minus C. And S equal to YD minus A plus B YD. This is nothing but the consumption. And consumption, this A is autonomous consumption. This is the marginal propensity to consume. And this is the disposable income. Okay. So now A is equal to minus A plus one minus B multiplied by the YD. After rearranging, we get this. And finally, we get the savings equation. It is the savings equation where A is the savings, A is the autonomous consumption, B is the marginal propensity to consume, Y is the income, T is the tax. Now, it is known to us that the investment has a linear function and this function and that function is this i equal to i bar minus i r so what is i i is the autonomous i is the investment i bar is the autonomous investment and i is the sensitivity of investment to the interest rate okay this i represent the sensitivity of investment to rate of interest and R is the rate of interest. Now we put the value of S and I in the I curve. Okay. I curve that that means I plus Z equal to S plus T. So we put the values of I and put the values of S. Here we get this equation. Just putting the value. Now, after rearranging, we get this equation. Just rearranging, we, um, we get the y, the real income, y equal to one by one minus b multiplied by the small a plus i bar plus g minus b and multiplied by the t within the bracket and minus i r one minus b. So after after differentiating, after differentiating with respect to R, we get del Y by del R. That, that means minus I by one minus B. In the IS curve, in the IS curve, you have an idea that IS curve is a downward sloping curve. Along the vertical axis, we measure the rate of interest. Along the horizontal axis, the real income. So this is the origin. Now, so this is the IS curve. So IS curve has negative slope. 
okay so here is a negative sign here is a negative sign but what is the ice curve it is it is the it is the ratio of chains in chains in rate of interest chains in rate of interest and chains in income chains in income chains in income so this is the is curve so here we get the del y by del r that is the chains in r and chains chains in y what does chains in r impact on the income this represent the minus i by 1 minus b by minus i by 1 minus b this is the del y by del r ratio but slope of the ice curve is del r del r by del y okay del y why chains in income and due to chains in income chains in r chains in r so this is the slope this is the slope so so reciprocal of this reciprocal of this we get the slope of the is curve this that is the del r by del y okay that is the del r by del y so del r by del y equal to minus 1 minus b by i so uh, so there are two factor that determines there are two factors that determine the slope of the ice curve one is the marginal propensity to save one is the marginal propensity to save and another is the and another is the sensitivity of investment to the rate of interest that is the I. sensitivity of rate of interest sensitivity of investment to the rate of interest okay so there are two factors if mps is high then the ice curve will be steeper okay and if it is low then ice curve will be flat and if i is small if i is small sensitivity of investment to interest rate is small then it is steeper the ice slope of the ice curve is steeper it is it is steeper and if it is and if it is high if it is high then then the slope of the ice curve will be flat so there is a the if mp mps is high the slope of the ice curve will be steeper and if i is high sensitivity of investment to interest is high the, then then ice curve will be flat okay this is the slope of the ice curve now i am the i am erasing all this marking I am using all this marking. Just do it. Now, now the slope of the LM curve. Now the slope of the LM curve. Here, the we have the linear linear form of the LM equation. This is the linear form of the LM equation. Okay money market equilibrium represents that the supply of money is equal to the demand for money so supply of money is constant and demand for money is equal to c0 plus c1 y minus c2 by r but c0 is a autonomous per it is autonomous per and c1 is the sensitivity c1 is the sensitivity of money demand to income okay what does c1 mean sensitivity of money demand to income and what does c2 mean c2 means sensitivity of money demand to interest rate sensitivity of money demand to interest rate and sensitivity of money demand to interest rate is negatively related okay and sensitivity of money demand to income is positively related so after rearranging we get this after rearranging we get this after re rearranging this linear form of lm equation we get this here r this r is this r okay so, or, so r is r is the rate of interest only a variable on the left hand side okay 
So R equal to C0 by C2 minus MS by C2 plus C1 by C2 Y. Now, the slope of the LM curve, what is the slope of the LM curve? If we draw a curve, LM curve, this is the LM curve. So LM curve, this is LM curve, okay? This is LM curve. And here we measure the along the vertical axis, the rate of interest, along the horizontal axis, measure the real income. So the, it is the origin O. So it has an upward rising curve. So here is a positive sign, okay? Here is a positive sign. So del R by del Y is the slope. Slope is nothing but the change ratio of um, ratio ratio of change in real income and change in interest rate. So getting uh, so after taking the different de derivative, after taking the derivative of this equation with respect to income, with respect to income, we get this. We get we get this. So because it is constant part. It is also constant part. Maintaining the rules of the mathematics, we get the result here. We get the result here. Okay. So, so result of the derivative with respect to y is c1 by c2. So slope of the slope of the LM curve is nothing but the ratio between the sensitivity of money demand to income and sensitivity of money demand to interest rate. Okay, sensitivity of money demand to income and sensitivity of money demand to interest rate. This is the slope of the LM curve. So what we have found here, we, we found the slope of the ice curve and slope of the LM curve. Slope of the ice curve is nothing but nothing but a ratio between the marginal propensity to save and sensitivity of investment to interest rate. Okay, it is a downward sloping curve. And slope of the slope of the LM curve is nothing but the ratio between the sensitivity of money demand, money demand to income and sensitivity of money demand to interest rate. Okay, so I hope you got the point and, 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 and you have understood the how the slope of the ice curve and slope of the LM curve can be determined with a mathematical procedure. Okay, thank you. Thank you for watching this video.